As you can see, this wall is getting there. I want to talk you through what I am doing on this wall. First of all, you may see this bit here that we have. Let's just get to a better position. Right, this window is going to be the kitchen window. So the kitchen. You're going to sit up against it. I've guesstimated, because they're the best kinds of measurements, the height of the kitchen. Around waist height, that's a good height for a kitchen. So I've guesstimated that. Uh, there's no point in having the window open when the kitchen sides are going to go up against that. So uh, I boxed it out and then clad, clad down that pillar, clad down this pillar. Um, and then I'm just finishing it off, going to put some insulation behind there uh, and all that jazz. That's today, well, one of today's jobs. The other today's job was tinting this window ready to receive boxing in, basically. Uh, the customer wanted to not be able to see, it wanted the, the van to have tint, tinted windows all the way around, uh, but the tint wasn't very good, so I tinted that myself. Uh, I just happened to have a uh, uh, a, a roll of window tint luckily from the last job so uh, mm. I've used that uh, I'm not an expert at window tinting but you'll just see my window tinting video uh, to, to see that I'm not an expert but it's worked alright uh, I've got my insulation there uh, I've just boxed uh, that in the insulation is going to sit in there Obviously, there's going to be a piece across the top. I didn't need to explain that to you, did I? Um, that's going to sit in there like that. And then one of these boards here is going to sit on there like that. Um, which is a really nice flush bit, look. Almost like it was made to measure. And I measured it in centimetres this time. So, uh, 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 apart from the fact that the um, window isn't perfectly square, as you can see there, um, it doesn't matter because this is just going to get screwed to those beams and then the cladding is just going to go straight down um, to this pillar here. So that's just going to be all clad. Uh, that offers some privacy in the bedroom, the main bedroom area, the main double bed area. Uh, and then maybe tomorrow or the day after, uh, maybe tomorrow or next week when I come back, I'll do the exact same thing on this window um, but it takes ages to get this glue off the windows I'm not looking forward to it but yeah this this is what it's going to look like uh, it's going to be clad all the way across there all the way across the bottom I'm not going too far down because it's going to be a double bed seating area and then kitchen so there's no need to clad all the way down to the bottom just yet then on this side it's going to be a double bed seating area and then that's it. So I'm going to clad some way down that. Um, and that's it. But the main thing is to get it looking to this state here where we've got the cladding down this pillar. On these parts here uh, where you can see the carpet, there's going to be another piece of wood to, to finish that off. So it's going to be like a window ledge type thing. Exactly the same on this. It's going to be all uh, plied out not plied, plied, it's all going to be clad out so it's all going to look neater than it does now. Uh, it's been a stressful day in that the tint was frustrating and getting the glue off was a nightmare but uh, it's coming together now and I think that in two days the entire ceiling is done um, when I put the trims back on the entire ceiling is done and um, and one wall is almost complete. It, it's only going to take a couple more hours to get that done. I'm knackered. It is getting a bit dark now, so I'm going to give you an update now. 
but I'm going to carry on a bit. We just have to wait for the rest tomorrow or something. All right. Um, I really appreciate everybody's kind comments on my recent videos. It means a lot. Makes this hard work a little bit worth it. Anyway, have a look. So, starting at this end. There used to be a window there. There's no window there now. That window is just getting framed in. I've just glued the window sill down, which is why all the tools are on it to weigh it down a bit while the gloom sets. That is the height of the kitchen worktop, roughly. Um, but I've still not decided on the kitchen yet, So, but that will do for now. I'm gonna box it all in, make it nice uh, so you can see less of the blue carpet. Exactly the same for this. I'm gonna put trims around all the outsides, down, and then obviously they've got a, win a window ledge there. Um, Obviously there's going to be a seating area, so the backs are going to be against that part and then the window can be open. Uh, and as it is, I've got exactly the same to do on this side, it's going to be a long, long ass journey. But I've already got the ply cut, I've already got the timbers, I've got plenty of cladding, I've got everything. As you can see it's a mess, but this is our, just our work. But I do a tidy job, and that's the main thing isn't it? Um, the customer is very happy with what's going on so far. Uh, still got a lot to do. Got um, a diesel heater on its way that's going to be fitted somewhere in the back here uh, there's also there's a there's a uh, lift thing out the back here that needs taking off uh, obviously where the stretchers came in and out that needs removing I don't know if I'm doing that job I don't think I am um, I've moved the uh, old electrics down at the moment they're still wired in I'm just gonna put them under there a bit maybe I'll just wire some new ones in uh, the rest of the electrics are coming gotta sort out the solar panel not, not, we've not ordered that yet and the charge control I've got the cable in Ugh. got fuse boards I've got switch panels oh dear I'm knackered anyway once again Really appreciate everything. Really appreciate your support. If you want to continue watching this little build series, subscribe button uh, and give us a follow, turn on notifications and all that jazz. Um, and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks again. Genuinely mean it. Bye, Felicia.